Hi and welcome to the supplement for uh, making bar cards. We're going to do the um, F bar card and move on up and make some more bar cards basically from the F position. Uh, I left this up here just to remind you the um, sequence in which uh, the cords are kind of formed. Keep in mind that you know this does not refer to any uh, music theory or anything like as like that. It's just for basically for the purpose of finding some more bar chords in the uh, pattern of an alphabetical sequence. Okay, so we're going to be doing the F chord, G chord, A chord, and B chord, and they're all basically based off the F chord that was learned in your prior lessons. Um, one thing I'm going to ask you to do is uh, just for this exercise so you can see that the chord of position moving up on the fretboard always stays the same so um, you want to make your F chord just for this exercise with the second finger and the third finger okay second finger third finger so this time if you have your ukulele go ahead and try to form the F chord like that uh, and we'll get started here in a couple seconds. So the F chord would be formed your second finger and your third finger and that's your F chord. It's the same F chord as you made like this except you make it like this so, so you can um, see and understand the examples that, that we're going to be going through. So, as we look at the other chords, um, they have the fret written down, so then you know what fret they're on. So, uh, the G fret, uh, the bar, would be on the second fret, bar being the fourth fret for A, bar on the sixth fret for B. Okay. So, let's get started. Let's start off by making the F chord with the two and the three finger two and the three finger okay so go ahead and <clears throat> do that and what we're going to do is we're going to keep this position all we're going to do is when it comes time to making the next chord we're just going to relax don't take it off the strings and slide it up the fretboard okay and what will happen next is the, is the finger the bar will just come down the finger okay so if we look at here the G chord the bar is on the second fret so let's make the F chord again with the second and third finger so slide up so that your bar your first finger bar can come down to the second fret and then your second and third fingers fall into formation once again your bar is on the second fret so here you go. That's a G chord. G bar chord. Okay. With the bar on the second fret. Okay. G bar chord. Sounds the same as your G chord. G bar chord. Okay. Now in this video, please feel free to pause it at any time if you need to just take it a little slower. Next chord. Is the A chord on the fourth fret? Bars on the fourth fret. You keeping your same finger positioning. So let's let's go back and review F chord with that second finger and the third finger. The F chord. Okay. So then what we did was we slid the fingers up, relax those fingers, slide it up. Okay, and we put the uh, the bar on the second fret. Okay, so that sec. So the bar is on the second fret. This middle finger is on the third fret, second string, and this is on the top string on the fourth fret. Okay, and that's your G. Now what you want to do is you want to just take that whole formation, that whole chordal formation, and slide it up two frets, two frets. One, two. From G. One, two. So you're now on the fourth fret. This is on the fourth fret. 
these fingers never ever did move from the F position. Okay. And then you have now the A chord. The A chord. So you have that bar there on the fourth fret. You still never ever move these fingers, never move them, so that you can understand the formation of the chord. For the next chord, B, you're still keeping the same formation, just sliding this bar or sliding the chord up to the sixth fret. Don't move any fingers, just slide it to the sixth fret. Okay? So from the A chord on the fourth fret, you slide everything up two frets to the sixth fret to the 6th fret and that's your B chord okay so just reviewing once you make your F chord with the 2 and 3 fingers with the 2 and 3 fingers once you make the F chord with the 2 and 3 fingers you never for this whole exercise you never want to take those fingers off the ukulele you just want to relax them so you can slide it to wherever you want to slide it, but keep it in that position, okay? And then when you slide it, you're going to be dropping the bar down somewhere. But once you slide that F up, bring that bar down already. Just keep your fingers lightly on the strings. Don't press too hard so, it, so your fingers stuck. Just keep it lightly on the string so you can slide easily, okay? So once you make the F with the two and um, three finger, Slide it up to the second fret, slide it up to the fourth fret, slide it up to the sixth fret. Keep in mind that the second fret or all those dots there is your finger bar. Your finger bar. Okay? And the other two make up your chord. Okay? Next one, sliding up to the fourth fret. Sliding up to the fourth fret. And once again, once you have the chord, never take these fingers off. Okay? So it makes it much easier. So in other words, let's start from the bottom. F. Okay? With F. Two finger. Three finger. Slide up to the second fret. G. Okay? If it's going too fast for you, pause, pause the tutorial. Okay? Then... Um, what you want to do is relax your fingers, don't take them off the strings, slide up to the 4th fret, slide up to the 4th fret, don't take your fingers off, they should just be gliding on the strings. This is your A chord. Now we're going to glide up to the 6th fret, that's 2 more frets, okay? So we're basically moving by 2 frets each time, 6th fret, and that's your B chord. So you can see B, A, G, F, F, A, B, oh, sorry, F, G, A, B, okay? So, if you keep that idea that once you make your F chord, and you're going to make the other chords, never take your fingers off the ukulele. And then once you come up to the G chord, put your bar down, okay? It's not, it's not too important right now to press the fingers hard. It's important that you keep the fingers loosely on the strings but touching the strings so that you can slide to your next chord because you want to get an idea where your bar chords are. Keep in mind they're located on the 2nd fret for G, 4th fret for A, 6th fret for, for B and, and you are basically just locating the frets because you notice that I, even when I was showing this exercise to you I wasn't playing the chord that much. It was more important to show you uh, the chords, where they are, how to find them, and how the, uh, to let your fingers glide on the strings lightly to the next chord. Okay? And once you kind of have an idea of where the chords are, how to make, make the chords, please do your chord cog exercise. So even before you start to play the chord, Follow this pattern and don't press too hard on the strings. Get an idea on where the chords are. Okay, once you're comfortable with the chords, okay, then start to press a little harder. Play the chord, play the strings, hear the chord, hear the sound of the chord. But until you get comfortable, okay, and the reason being is that you're getting higher on the frets. So when you're getting higher on the frets, you know, it's easier to make a mistake on the chord. 
by being off a little. Okay, so um, at this point, it really helps to just memorize and play it. If you really understand the concept of theory and how everything works and uh, all those lessons that are prior to this tutorial, and you can start using that to help you understand more of the concept of uh, how chords work. So in other words, the reason why I wrote this down here is because you can see the F, F, what comes after F? G, what comes after F? G, F, G, A, B, C, F, G, A, B, okay? So you start to see a pattern here, and that's uh, some of the things that are going to help you understand uh, making bar chords uh, faster and easier. Okay, so um, go ahead and uh, back up the, the tutorial, maybe play it again, get a better understanding of that, and we're, we're moving on to the um, next lesson. Keep in mind that the lessons for these bar chords move <clears throat> relatively quickly, so by all means, if you need to pause it uh, to get uh, you know to get your fingers on the chord better or to just get a better uh, understanding for yourself go ahead and pause at any time during the lesson okay so we'll see you for the next lesson on bar cards